we have some more updated information on the Batman, right? We just saw the most recent, you know, awesome, you know, break the internet, breaking the internet bit of news or material we got was when director Matt Reeves tweeted out that camera test of Robert Pattinson in the Batsuit for the first time. But apparently the news that's followed after that has said that the movie's going to focus on Batman in year two of his career as a superhero. Um, so it's not right at the beginning or before he becomes Batman. He's already been Batman for a little while. Um, this is his second year on the job. So not quite a rookie, but still, you know, a bit fresh. Very interesting. I got that information from this Heroic Hollywood article where the headline is, The Batman will focus on year two of the Dark Knight's career. Let us go down and read some of this. Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves is. <laughs> highly anticipated The Batman will focus on the Dark Knight's second year as a vigilante. Late Thursday afternoon, fans launched into a frenzy online when Matt Reeves dropped the first official look at Robert Pattinson's Batman suits. The suit from the Batman is quite reminiscent of the outfit seen in, Bat in the Batman Arkham games, yes. Good choice there. As they both feature mechanical pieces of body armor. The suit from the Batman also has a cowl that's evocative of Zorro's mask. Hmm, I hadn't made that connection. And notably lacks the iconic white eyes that the Dark Knight has spotted in previous incarnations. In their piece on Robert Pattinson's suit for the Batman, the rap revealed that the film will focus on the Dark Knight's second year as Gotham's savior. It's been confirmed for quite some time that the latest film to focus on the Dark Knight wouldn't be an origin so story. However, for Matt Reeves to position the Dark Knight's latest outing in his second year would mean that we'll be seeing a Batman that is still learning the ropes. We previously saw a young, inexperienced Batman in Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins, though the film saw the Dark Knight quickly becoming the legend we've known him to be. Fans have been yearning to see a Batman that's relatively inexperienced and is still understanding what it means to be the Dark Knight. Hopefully Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson can make fans proud when the Batman hits theaters next year. And I think they're certainly going to try, which is a good sign. Matt Reeves is a good director, and I think he's one of those directors who actually, like, understands and likes the material he's directing. A lot of these directors doing comic book movies didn't read the comic books before, don't really care about them before they, they start making them. But I don't think that's the case with him. I think he actually reads and cares about this material. Or some of them, right? Um... So I think he's into it, basically is what I'm saying. So yeah, good stuff. Um I have a good I have I have a good feeling about the Batman. I think it's gonna be a very good movie. Um I think they want to make it a good movie, which is good, a good thing. They're gonna try their best. And audience anticipation is high. Robert Pattinson talked earlier about we've seen things here and there how this is gonna he's been, I think, implying that Batman's gonna be angry or not really a hero. So I'm thinking what this is is if he's newer to being Batman, he has yet to really master or conquer, you know, the rage he feels because of what happened to his parents and him when he was younger. And he's still learning, I think, how to be um, less of a jerk than Batman. Batman's often kind of jerky, but um, I think this might be him still dealing with his rage issues or just things that happened to him that made him become Batman, you know, he might be a bit more, um, rougher, maybe with criminals, or, you know, not yet learning how to control his intense emotions the way we are used to Batman doing when Batman's a little older and more seasoned. This is just me, you know, coming up with some theories. I don't know if that's what that means. But interesting stuff. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.